Okay, these are already given a lot of the steps are filled in, right? And so as we're filling these in and going through, you're gonna notice the worksheet has less and less filled in until the point where you are doing most of the proof. So in this first one, you can start with any of these, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with side one, the one with the one mark. So we could say side PN is congruent to side WD. And that's given, marked in the picture. I could also say that angle P is congruent to angle D, given in the image. And then finally, PQ is congruent to DC. So since I have a side, I have an angle, I have a side. The triangles are congruent by side, angle, side. And let's go ahead and say the triangle name, P and Q, triangle D, W, C. Okay, next, we've got an angle, we've got a side, we've got an angle. So this is gonna be congruent by angle, side, angle. We can already see it coming. So let's start with angle I is congruent to angle S. Side IK is congruent to side SA and angle K is congruent to angle A. So triangle IHK is congruent to triangle SYA. Remember that you could have different uh, namings of these sides or these triangles if you did this before me and you're just checking your work as long as you've got the corresponding parts in a different order it would be okay or any of the givens could be done in a different order. So side ON congruent to side EA is given. Side OC congruent to side AC given. Side, sorry, we're doing construction on our floors if you can hear that. Side CN is congruent to side CE. And that's also given. So this is going to be congruent by side, side, side. And let's see the triangle name. OCN is congruent to ACE. Okay, for this next one, we're going to need these vertical angles because uh, all we were given is two sides otherwise. So side FR is congruent to side SR. Side ER is congruent to side AR. And angle FRE congruent to angle SRE by vertical angle theorem. And then triangle FRE is congruent to triangle SRA by side angle side. Okay. Notice this one already has the reflexive side mentioned here, third, so we just need to put the other two givens. So side TB is congruent to side IH. And angle, we can't just call it angle B and angle H because it's a shared vertex. We have to call it a three letter name. TBH is congruent to angle IHB. And then it does the reflexive side because it's equal to itself. And so triangle TBH is congruent to triangle IHB by side angle side. That one's definitely the most common, huh? We use that one a lot. Here comes another ASA. Look at this one, how it's already set up. Okay, angle G. I love when these ones don't have shared angles, so they're so much easier to say, right? Angle G is congruent to angle U. 
sine GB uh, side HU and then angle B congruent to angle H. So we do have enough for congruency. GWB is congruent to triangle USH by ASA. Okay, on this other one, we also need these vertical angles in order to make the angle side angle true. So we say angle O is congruent to angle H. Side OS is congruent to side HS. And angle JSO is congruent to angle TSH. And so triangle JSO is congruent to triangle TSH. Finally. By ASA. Okay, this next one we're going to need this reflexive side in order to do the side, side, side congruency. So side CS is congruent to side TO. Side TO, no, side TS is congruent to side OC, no, CO. And then we need the reflexive side. Side SO is congruent to itself. And so triangle TSO is congruent to triangle COS by side, side, side. Okay, last one. We're going to need this reflexive side here. So let's go with the other two givens first. LS is congruent to PS. QL is congruent to QP. And then QS is congruent to itself. And so finally, triangle QSL is congruent to triangle QSP by side, side, side.